you just missed quite a lovely burp. It is a very nice burp. Oh, this is what I bought at Save a Lot after having an actual panic attack at the doctor's office. So, um, I thought water might be <laughs> beneficial. Uh, I thought water might be, like, a really good idea. Weird, right? Oh, this does have a weird flavor, but it's okay. The fruit water is just not gonna be easily paired with a um summer sausage and cheddar cheese combo <laughs> can we just look at this for a second can we <laughs> I decided I wanted meat and cheese and here it is presented to me made in cow Cowlin, Cow Cowlin, Michigan. So, you know, the amount of, oh God, in the struggle. I knew this was going to be a struggle. Couldn't have it easy, huh? Couldn't have anything easy. Oh, uh, this, these package, these packages are awful. They need to figure that shit out. Because I buy these locally sourced meat and cheese products quite a lot. And I would buy them more often if they were easily open. It's just the cheese was so soft. Oh my god. The cheese was so soft. And I don't think this has a sodium count. It's going to be a lot. Jesus Christ. I was like, fuck it. I'm like, at this point, I'm like, fuck it. I'm just, in here, I'm gonna have as much sodium as this food allows me to have. It's a literal block of cheese. The cheese was so soft. I, ugh. This was a poor choice. I will say with a thousand percent certainty that this was a poor choice. Mm. <laughs> and that I am not in my right mind. <laughs> to be eating a literal block of cheese. It's pretty good though. Mm. It's very sharp. It's sharp as fuck. Oh my God. It's so soft, I can't. This was the worst idea imaginable. And only I could have made the worst choice imaginable. So then I, can I open, can I open, can I get anything? I really need my fucking Swiss Army back on my person because... I mean, that kind of worked. I just really wanted the summer sausage, so <gasps> everything's fine. We're fine. Everything is fine. I just wanted. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I wanted. But it's cold, and the meat is also cold, so it's a thing. Okay. The summer sausage is worth it. Mm, fuck!
I almost don't even want to talk about it. It's a lot. See my new doctor. I should have known that something like this was going to happen because this is the first time I'm seeing my new doctor in person. I literally address. I wrote down all of my needs. I addressed literally all of my needs except for one, which I was having a weird sensation in my left leg. But I was like, it was like, it was just like a sensation that I had. So I'm like, it's whatever. I had literally all of my other needs addressed. Go to check out of the doctor's appointment. The sensation happens again in my leg, and I'm like, okay, this is obviously, like, a nagging thing that's like, hey, just have this fucking address. It's one last thing. You're still here. You can have a note sent back to your doctor, whatever. And, um, thankfully a nurse came back to me because she was, um, scheduling an ultrasound. And she came back to me, and I just started hyperventilating. I could not even get the words out. And I don't know if I felt like it was an insignificant thing that I was asking for more time. I don't know what brought it on. I really don't. And I had a moment. Oh my God. I had a moment in the doctor's office where like I've been doing affirmations for myself that I'm, that I'm pretty, that I'm loved, that I'm beautiful, that I'm, you know, all these things, all these things. And then like something just triggered in my brain of like, I can't believe I'm saying this out loud, dude. I'm too stinky to love. <laughs> Literally, that was the thought that came in my brain. And then it just, like, it started tears. What was that? Was I think that's when I was literally waiting for my doctor. Oh, my God. It's so stupid. It's so stupid. I don't even want to fucking talk about it. <laughs> And then, like, that little trigger. I don't know, man. It was so dumb. It was so dumb. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't like it. I feel like that was the seed of this, like, worth thing that I'm still really heavily working on and processing, like, literally disregard everything I said because it's so dumb and I hate it and I hate that I actually said it out loud. Like, don't mind me just sitting in my car post-panic attack eating fucking summer sausage and a block of actual fucking cheese, just like a straight-up fucking block. Oh! I also got this. Um, because it was cheap and I really like the menthol pain relieving stuff. And the last thing I bought was, um, the Icy Hot Balm, which I don't like. I like the cream consistency <laughs> of, like, an actual cream. So I'm like, well, here at Save a Lot, getting random fucking food products, and let's just, I like browsing, especially, like, Dollar Tree and stuff, like, I like browsing the healthcare or, like, the hygiene aisles, because you can always find something that you need or could use at a cheaper price. <laughs> Listen to me! I'm a money expert! <laughs> I now have a Roth IRA, so fuck you, but also thank you for... <laughs> I have a fucking IRA with zero money in it currently, so <laughs> deal with that. <laughs> I don't know. Deal with it. He said to himself, quite confidently... Deal with it. Too stinky to love. I can't. 
Um, I don't know, and then, like, the panic of, like, maybe this is a fucking blood clot in my leg. And am I gonna, oh, am I gonna have to go to ER and sit for 12 hours and pay $200 for them to tell me I don't have a blood clot? That was probably very substantial in the panic attack. I mean, that thought process probably didn't help. But when the nurse came back to me, I couldn't speak. So it had happened before that. Okay, I'm going to try to mentally process. Because... A lot of things are just not making sense right now. So I went to sit. I checked out. I sat and waited because she was coming back with my ultrasound details. I don't. I can't process it, and I'm. I just. I'm just gonna let it go. I think mainly why I panicked was like this is a thing that needs to be addressed and it's a big medically scary thing that I just didn't want to talk about and then as I was literally leaving my body's like hey remember that thing you weren't gonna mention yeah, right. So she pulled me aside. I cried about it. I processed it. I was able to, like, speak in a way that I could, con like, hey, so I'm scared that I might have a blood clot in my leg. You know, I was able to get that information out to her. They pulled me back to talk to my doctor quickly. He was already in another appointment. Or, you know, going back and forth to another appointment, another patient. He addressed my immediate concern and brought in a mental health professional. Kudos on him, man. Kudos on him. I, man, what a good doctor. I've got a really fucking good doctor. And then I had to process through the fact that, whoa, I have a really fucking good doctor. And I was able to communicate in a way that all of my fucking needs were addressed. I didn't feel judged. I didn't feel like I was, um, like, overextending or talking about shit that didn't matter. I didn't feel like any of my concerns were off-putting or, like, that doesn't make sense. Everything made sense to myself and to him. Yeah. Yeah, fuck. That's probably going to be the first one of the first things in EMDR is medical trauma. Because that's another, like, really forefront, like, pivotal moments of, like, going to doctors as a fat adolescent and being told that, you know, like, the pain that I'm having doesn't make sense and, like, essentially being told that my pain isn't real. So, processing through a lot of that medical trauma. Of not being believed. And being told that, you know, like, silently or through body language or through, like, Oh, we'll just put you on these meds. Oh, we'll just, we'll find out. Or, like, you're, you're, um... You're bipolar when it's like, no, I have substantial amounts of fucking trauma and no one gets, like, no one wants to listen to it. No one wants to fucking hear me when I say, like, mm, 
that diagnosis doesn't really sound correct. Mm. Let's maybe rethink that. No. Okay. This cheese is too soft. Okay. This cheese is too soft. Okay, I said it. Okay. I feel better. And I'm only not drinking the water right now because the fruit paired... The fruity water paired with a meaty summer sausage is not going to be great for me right now, so... What a day, it's not even noon. What a fucking day. And I already started to analyze what happened and why it became emotionally overwhelming for me today because I'd already been activated yesterday at work these feelings of like not being heard and not being believed that like my pain is going to be addressed and assessed through <coughs> Like, the exact way that I believe it will be addressed. Like, okay, specific example. They gave me, um, like a foot rest. And it wasn't high enough for me to rest my leg while sitting. We do another assessment. She informs me that the foot rest is meant for when I'm standing. To, to elevate the, the leg and the foot, whatever, when I'm standing. Because I have a sit-to-stand desk at work. So, they, like, him and haw. They're like, just try it again. So, I did. I actually broke it. Because I was trying to shift my weight while standing on it like an idiot. Uh. There, one measly burp. It was a pretty measly opposed to the burp you missed. So. so I broke it, then they're like, oh, well, I guess you need a more sturdy footstool. This one is bigger and taller, and I actively rest my leg on it when I'm sitting. I don't care what you believe this intended use is for. Like, I'm going to use it in the way that I deem necessary. And, holy cow, my leg doesn't go numb anymore because I'm elevating it while I'm sitting. Wow. So, <laughs> I'm fully <coughs> debunking these concepts, like, in real time. And it's like, how are you still not listening to me? How are you still not actively listening to what I have to say about my own goddamn body. Bruh! So then, like, I I drafted up a whole-ass email about, like, this is frustrating because I'm not feeling heard and, like, the chair, like, this is all over a new fucking chair to the point I'm like, I'm just gonna buy my own fucking chair. They have been so ridiculous about this that I'm like, I'm just gonna buy my own ass fucking chair. So I have to do that. Oh, that's what I should do. I should go to Office Depot and sit in some chairs. That's what we're going to do. Yep. I have some donations to drop off, and then we're going to go sit in some fucking chairs. Because, bruh, do not even... I'm not... <clears throat> Ugh. 
I'm allowed to have my fucking needs addressed. And yes, I almost choked. So I'm going to finish eating. Cool-ass summer sausage. Yep. Much better. Much better. So that's what activated this panic attack, the feelings from yesterday, the carryover of the feelings from yesterday of not feeling hurt and being frustrated. Mm. Yep. So I was thinking even in the midst of coming down from this panic attack of like what can I do to intervene before this happens like yesterday I knew that I was emotionally activated I drafted up a whole ass email about it I did not send it obviously because it was a lot but then like what could I have done even after that to address the emotion that I was having so that I did not fully have a fucking panic attack today I think it was just compounded by medical trauma that I've had in the past of not being heard. So I feel like I come into this, I feel like I come into these appointments with the expectation that I'm not going to get heard and that my shit's not going to get addressed. And then it actually did, which like circumvented that feeling like simultaneously almost to the point of like, see how fucking easy that was? For someone to just fucking sit there and listen. Even if they're like, no, we're not going to do that. But I'm, like, listening to you. Because I want fucking gabapentin. Ugh. And he's like, well, we'll see what these tests indicate <clears throat> first. And I'm like, it's fine. You can still say no. You're a fucking doctor. You more, <laughs> you know more than me. You more know than me. <laughs> You more know than me. Oh, it's way too much salt. Oh, it's summer sausage. Regret. It's fine. I'm going to supplement it with some water because I've not had any water today. Okay, well. We've done the things. We made a poor choice, but you know what? We lived with the consequences, and I did actually eat something. So, success. I'm cold. It snowed last night, so I'm gonna get going, but let's be kind to ourselves today. And I know that sounds really hard, uh, but we can do it.